Good evening. Welcome for Saturday. Day 24 about the Nuggets of Wisdom and the Book of Proverbs. Before we start, I'm going to ask you a prayer. Hallelujah, Lord. May you glory with the praise of God. Saan kong gagawin ngayon, Panginoon? Kayo lang po ko, glory. Hindi sasambahin. Muran sa oras na ito, Panginoon. Thank you for this word of God. Bless us, Lord. Lord, we may learn something new to it, Panginoon. Something wonderful. Gagawin po namin, Panginoon, sa pang-araw-araw na ngayong buhay. Thank you, Lord. We give praise and give glory. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Ang ating pong... Uh, text for tonight na pag-aaral natin is about Proverbs chapter 4 verse 10 and I would like to read it in a KJV version it is said hear my son and receive my sayings and the years of your life will be many so there are two nuggets of wisdom po na nakasulat dito the first one is the word hear and the second one is receive so the objective po dito that the believers be encouraged that through wisdom their perspective in life will change so the main purpose or instruction and promises is that by hearing and receiving word of god there is a life changing life will be even longer healthier heartier by having wisdom so ang buhay po ay magiging joyful magiging more lively, magkaroon po ng gladness or more enjoyable po and cheery ang buhay. May kasiglaan po ang buhay. Na kung po nakasulat po, babasahin po natin sa uh, text for today. No? It will be added, no? ang life nyo, it will added more years. So, <clears throat> kung ating po aralin ang first na nugget of wisdom number one, ang nakalagay po dyan ay listen or hear yung po sa salitang grego yung sabihin na ako sa hebreo naman ay shama so from the Greek word and heavy word ako and shama they are the same meaning and descriptions kasi po dito uh, to obey to listen to hear intelligently to God's authority no? By having and receiving the word means giving respect to the one speaking to you and doing what they say. So ang Proverbs po, sa book of Proverbs, ito pong listen, ay nakasulit, isinulat po yan ng 14 times. Samantala na po sa New Testament from Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John to book of Revelation. Sinulat po yan ng 400 times naman. Ang word na hear, listen, or pay attention or to take heed. Ang nuggets of wisdom number two naman po, receive and accept. Uh, ibig sabihin po, to receive willingly something given or offered. At sinulat po iyan sa New Testament 264 times. That means, ito pong hearing or listening 400 times. Ito naman pong uh, receiving and accepting accept 264 times. Ganun po pala ka-importante ang mga salita na to. Hindi po pala siya pwedeng paghiwalayan. Kung ito pong hawak ko na to, kung sasabihin ko po ito ay isang coin, no? Tingnan po ninyo, no? Meron po yung receive and accept, meron pong hear and listen, no? Ito po, there are two sides, no? On the same coin. Ibig sabihin, hindi po pwedeng pala magkahiwalay palagi ang dalawa na to. Palagi pong magka- Sama po yung hear and receive or listen and accept. So there are three pointers po dito. No? I would like to share or give three points uh, why wisdom must be part in daily life. So number one is there is life changing for those who hear and accept God's word. The answer is yes, because God's wisdom can make one wise man more powerful than ten rulers in the city. Sayo po sa Ecclesiastes 7 verse 19. It also preserves the life of its possessor. Sayo po sa Ecclesiastes 7 verse 12. It stated that God's wisdom has the power to change a person's lifestyle and habits if you hear and receive his commands. 
So, yung, pong, yung po yung point number one. So, yung point number two naman po, why wisdom is important in daily life and how to attain it. Paano po natin, uh, paano po tayo magkakaroon ng wisdom? How to have it? No? Number one, ask wisdom from God. If you need wisdom, ask a generous God and He will give it to you. He will not rebuke for you. Four, asking. Siya po sa James chapter 1 verse 5. NLT version po yun. No? The first thing you can do to gain wisdom from God is to ask it from Him. Admit that you lack wisdom. Overcome your arrogance and admit that you have also been a folly. So number two points. Ask faithfully. No, but let him ask in faith with no doubting, for the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea that is driven and tossed by the wind. For that person must not suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. So I posted James chapter 1 verse 6 to 7. You have to be faithful when asking and praying for wisdom from God. Cast all your doubts away and believe in Him. In other words, don't ask wisdom while you disobey His commands. So number three naman po, be a God-fearing person. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, a good and understanding. All those who do His commandments, His praise endures forever. So I post in Psalms chapter 111 verse 10 and KJV version. When you have fear in God, you follow His teachings and obey His commands, you avoid committing sins and that will displease Him. You stay away from acts that will inflict harm upon yourselves and other people and then you realize that these are good these are right and that is wisdom so point number four be humble maging mapagkumbaba sabi po sa James chapter 3 verse 13 to 16 sino sa inyo ang marunong at makakaunawa ipakita niya ito sa mabagitan ng wasong pamumuhay na bunga ng kapagkumbabaan at karunungan Ngunit kung ang naghahari sa inyong puso ay inggit at makasariling hangarin, huwag ninyo iyang ipagmalaki at huwag ninyong ikaila ang katotohanan. Ang ganyang karunungan ay hindi galing sa Diyos, kundi sa makasandibutan, makalaman at mula sa Diablo. Sapagkat saan man naghahari ang inggit at makasariling hangarin, naghahari din doon ang kaguluhan at ang lahat ng uri ng masamang gawa. So if you want to have wisdom from God, Live a humble life. Humility will help you overcome and be self ambition and lead to sinful practices. So number five, read the Holy Scripture and know the words of God. To po sa 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 15, mula pa sa pagkabata ay alam mo mong ang banal ng kasulatan ay nagtuturo ng daan sa kaligtasan ng kaligtasan sa pamamagitan ng panampalata. Papanampalata ay kay Kristo Jesus. So be patient in reading and learning the words in the Bible. The scripture contains instructions, warnings, and guidance on how we should live. So point number six, how to gain wisdom? Know our Lord better. Sabi po sa Colossians chapter 2, verse 2 to 3. Basahin ko lang po ito sa verse 3. Sa pamagitan niya, nahahayag ang lahat ng kayamanan at karunungan na kaalaman at kaalaman ng Diyos. Sa po sa pamagitan ng Yes, sino po yun? Ang Panginoong Yesus. So our Lord uh, Jesus Christ is God's wisdom. Read more about Him in the Holy Bible. Learn His ways and follow His teachings. Believe in Him and love Him. This will certainly give you the key to the treasures of wisdom. So point number seven, how to attain wisdom. Do your best to get wisdom. Sa po sa Proverbs chapter 4, 5-7. Get wisdom, get understanding, do not forget my words or swerve from them. Do not forsake wisdom and she will protect you. Love her and she will watch over you. Wisdom is supreme, therefore, get wisdom. So it costs all you have, get understanding. So do your best to get wisdom. Free yourself from arrogance, pride, envy, hatred, and selfishness. Let the pure wisdom of God dwell in you. That's the point number two, how to get wisdom. So point number three naman po, why wisdom must be part in daily life? Why it is important? So it, point number three, it will add years to your life by listening, 
hearing carefully and accepting and receiving the word fully. Kung babasahin po natin sa story ni Daniel, Sadrach, Meshach, at Abednego sa Daniel chapter 1 verse 8 and verse 12 to 15, sa summarize ko na lang po ito, dito po <coughs> si Daniel po ay uh, hindi po siya kumain ng pagkain ng pagkain ng hari, kundi nirequest po niya kay Asperas na sila po ay bigyan ng for 10 days, bigyan po ng gulay at tubig yung pong kakainin nila and after 10 days sila po ay uh, ihahambing po sa mga kasingidan nila and sa uh, pinakasama po dito after 10 days, mas malulusog po sila at malalakas kesa sa mga kasingidan nila na pinakain po ng pagkain ng hari so the main point po dito by having wisdom sinunod po nila to by accepting it no? by listening and accepting it nagkaroon po silang revelation so the point is nagkaroon po sila ng mas malulusog at malakas na katawan and that leads you or the person to a better and more life to be added to him so yun po no our main conclusion for today is about by listening and accepting of what the scripture has said will make your life peaceful it will add many years to your life always be diligent or on fire in knowing god's word the more you listen here or accept and receive the words of god the more you will be wise praise god so important uh Sama po ninyo ko sa isang closing prayer. Hallelujah. Thank you for the words na namin mo na-receive, Panginoon. And I pray, O God, by listening and receiving your word, Panginoon, magkakaroon po kami ng wisdom, Lord. Bless, Panginoon, bawat puso, Panginoon, na kinig. And I pray, Panginoon, that we meditate your word day and night. Salamat po sa gabing ito, Panginoon. Thank you, God, sa iyong paggabay sa amin. All of you, Panginoon, we give you praise, we give you glory. In Jesus' name, Amen. Don't forget to subscribe po sa ating mga gawain ng ating charts po subscribing sa YouTube and Facebook channel. Uh, yun lang po. Salamat po. Be blessed and good night.